All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going for round two of live. I was outside going for a walk, ran back into the office. Let me know if the audio is working here. Uh, we were getting some high-pitched squeal instead of the real audio earlier. So looking forward to connecting with today. We're going to be talking about the 80-20 rule, what you can do to empower the 80 percenters to win in your MLM. Hey, Jeff, William, team, go ahead and just write in. All right, Jeff's saying you can hear fine now. Perfect. Audio is doing good. Awesome, gang. We're really excited to connect with you today. You just ran inside of the office. Sounds like my iPhone wasn't connected to the audio too well, so we deleted that live. We'll come back right here. Uh, we had an awesome topic this weekend. I was speaking at a Serbia convention, one of our clients, and there was a speaker on uh, named George Campbell before me who was talking about the 80-20 rule and how to speak to the 80% of folks who on your team who have struggled. And, and don't make it naturally in direct selling an MLM like the 20 percenters. And his, he was talking about the difference between long-term and short-term goals, long-term and short-term actions, right? And it was a really interesting conversation because I think we can all apply it to any direct sales or network marketing company. Because if you think about it, the 20% of people who are successful and who make it, when the 80-20% rule applies to all things, right? But the main key of the core of the 20 percenters and why they're there is they're able to live through delayed gratification. So they're able to do the work even when they're not rewarded as they're getting to the goal. And the 80 percenters, right, just feels too darn hard. Can't wait for the delayed gratification at the core. And so what is what was the message? And this is such a cool message for all of us. So, so if you're on the line and you consider yourself a 20 percenter, right, you're like, hey, I already get it. I do the work. I get my stuff done and I'm accomplishing all the goals I set in my life. Or, or you, maybe you consider yourself an 80 percenter. I'm one of the people who is still figuring it out and, and working every single day to get it right. But I know I don't always follow through on the, the things I set in my life or the things I look to accomplish. Right. What is there for you? Right. What does that mean? And so this is a really great topic for those of you that are running your own sales team in a direct sales company. Those of you that own or run or are an executive at a direct sales company is to think about how you can set up your 80 percenters for success, what you can do to empower the masses that, that may not get the program already, right, to be successful. What are the things you can put in place? And what was so interesting about this conversation was the idea of short-term goals. Now, and we're talking about short-term goals. We're talking about what you can do in a day. And I'm talking about what you could do for the next three days. So not what you should do every week or what you should do every month or what you should do this year, right? How many of us could go back to people on our team and just help them build habits? So that's what the big key is. How can we make it simple for them to just build habits? Because, and I mean, in our world, a lot of the marketing systems and platforms we run in tools, it, that could be as simple as telling someone, hey, don't go a single day without adding one person to your marketing system, to your contact manager, right? Some people are adding hundreds of days, you know, hundreds of people a day. Some people are talking to two dozen people a day building their business. But for the 80 percenters, one, right? Don't go a day without one. Because if they can do that for three days, they can create a habit. And they can up that slowly, right? They can go from one a day to two a day to three a day to five a day, right? For years, I know in my own teachings, I've always taught people, hey, you should just talk to five people a day. Let's just do that for the next two weeks. And who was I speaking to? And I'd say, yeah, just talk to five people a day for the next two weeks. I'm speaking to the 20 percenters, right? The, the people who already get it and already want to go out there and do it, right? But the 80 percent of people are like, man, I didn't even do one, right? So you need to set the daily habit low enough where it's like, hey, you got to do the minimum and you can't get any lower than one, right? So starting folks off with one a day for the 80 percenters and having them up their game from there. Then they can start experiencing the 10x success that those of you that are the big dogs and, and big girls are knocking out in your business. So the challenge is to, to, to think about ways you can present the activities that have to be done to be successful in a way where those people will actually do them. Our answer has always been the speed system. You know, in the, in the stuff that I've trained on MLM Monday and just the real stuff I've seen that's actually working in companies, it's always come down to that acronym of speed, right? Teaching people how to share, teaching them how to present, teaching them how to enroll others, teaching them how to elevate and train new people and get them to duplicate. 
Well, if I wanted to share speed uh, with, with someone who wasn't a leader or someone who's never done this business before or someone who's tried before and struggled in the past, you know what I would start with? Yeah, let's start with one. I'd start with, hey, why don't you share your message with one person a day, right? Why don't you start with one? Hey, Kevin, welcome on to the live. Good to hear you, bro. There's a producer. It all starts. Now, Kevin would be in the 20% of the 80-20 rule. He's someone who has done the work to do the habits and the behaviors to be in the top percentile of his business and his work, right? But it all started with creating a habit. And so the big question is, how can we create great habits for the 80 percenters in the company? What can we do to do that, right? What can we do to create great habits? And it's by, hey, going ahead and setting minimum daily habits, right? Encouraging everyone on your team, hey, for the next three days, can you do one, right? And then the next time you talk to that person, hey, for the next three days, can you do two people a day? Hey, for the next three days, can you do three people a day? That's how it works, folks. And soon enough, you're able to have those people following your line. I thought it was a really interesting conversation at the convention. I really did because I don't always think that way, right? I always think the way I learned, right? Which was set the goal and go do it, right? But you got to think of the folks in your team. If, you're a, if you identify yourself as a 20 percenter with your team and your group, you got to think about what's holding back the other people on your team. Maybe they're not getting the instant gratification that they require in the way they're programmed, right? And what can you do that feeds that so that they won't give up on themselves and they'll keep running, right? And they'll keep knocking it out here in their life. So be thinking about the way you communicate to those people and share your ideas. Go ahead and put your comments in here in the thread and we'll start a conversation about this. So many times, I, I find myself and even a lot of the people we work with, the 20 percenters talking to the other 20 percenters saying, hey, well, some will follow the process, some won't, so what, right? But how can we communicate to the people who don't get it in a way where they can actually start taking action? Daily goals, right? Just minimum stuff each day. Don't go to bed until you've done X. What is that in your own business? Put it in the comments. Think about it. This is the stuff we want our leaders setting with everybody so if there's anyone who's not making progress who hasn't made a sale that week right that at least they're actually taking daily action and they're not taking themselves out of the game love it thank you so much guys for joining on mlm monday it's always a pleasure to come out to you love it have a wonderful day we'll talk with you soon bye for now